Everything all right? You kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know... Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> you want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? All right, all right, jeez. Sorry for taking an interest. Stop it! It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. Now you've gone and ticked me off! 
Sleep You're now. mine! Not today! Blades on fire! Here, let me help! Rising Wyvern! No! I think we can get through this. I'll take you all on! Ha! Slayer the Malisha! If it's in the sky, you can do it! Right in front! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclops! Yeah! Out. Nice technique! Raging Star! Flight. Hold nothing back! Celestial Manor! Make it right back! Remember. Astral Energy! Say no more! Does anyone else think this may be just a bit too tough for us? Small fry. Just me, or is anyone else peckish? Got to break through. Ah! You picked Ready the wrong fight. Hang fight. Can't let it go. Denied. Don't let it go. The blood of Hang be seen. I'm out of here. Ah! Astral energy. Say no more. Got it. Well done. Annihilation. Got it. Run. Fight. Now. Hang on. Astral energy. Say no more. The heavens must be smiling. Done it without you. Huh. 
Seriously? Is this a joke? for a celebratory drink. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <sighs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, It'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. 
As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Renwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> My battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, and it's all the more reason I have to do this. I think it's safe to rest here now. Uh, 
All right. Something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So... Do you think we should say something to Alfin, then? I was wondering the same thing myself. But then it occurred to me. Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... <sighs> what am I supposed to do? This flavor, why it rivals the cooking of my own chefs in the palace. <laughs> 